Senior correspondent John Miller has been talking to his law enforcement sources. He joins me now for more. John, are you hearing anything about this altercation? Yeah, I spoke to a senior law enforcement source this evening about that, and he said what we're focused on was there was some kind of argument between people in the office, and people in the office of that school are dead today. Uh, he said the key is to figure out if Lanza was part of that, present for it, or somehow involved. And he said right now they don't have any indication he was, but he said, you know, they have to run that out to make sure. You're also learning more about the guns used in the shooting that belonged to Lanza's mother? Well, yeah, and it's, it's about the process, which is she had to go to an awful lot of trouble to get these guns. Connecticut has some of the toughest gun laws in the country. That meant going down to the state police, filling out the forms, getting fingerprinted, and then waiting to hear back that she was approved for a handgun permit. Then it meant going down to the store, getting an FBI background check, waiting for another period and picking those weapons up. So it's not one of those things where you just show up with your driver's license and make a purchase. Um, she made an affirmative effort to get these weapons and, as we learned from the landscaper, enjoyed shooting. We spoke to another relative who also said she was worried about the defense of her home. If there was a collapse of the economy, she wanted to have weapons on hand to defend them, which, of course, only underscores the irony that those were the guns used by her own child to kill her and so many others. John Miller in New York, thank you.